in the second round of six. No sign of any score yet. Grapevine now, Cooper, opposite arm lever. Near arm for Frosty. Hey, two, three, four, hey. One of his old tricks worked back on him. Headbutt to the stomach. gets away with it, toe and ankle now to Ross and Cooper trying now a step over toe hole which didn't really work for him and the cross scissors lands again just a minute left Cooper really pouring with sweat now under the heavy television lights, of course. And it's pretty warm in this uh, recreation center for us all, even at ringside, because the open spill of the lights coming right at us. Half a minute left now, and uh, Cooper's still worried by this cross scissors. It's the third, the fourth time he's had it on. This time he's trying to prevent the spin out that way. Yes. Yes, come on. He's trying to get the referee to start counting, but the blades are not down. Ross's shoulder blades no one near the canvas. Really too late to start another move now. Handshakes from Cooper. Let's go and have a look at uh, Cooper first. There he is, said from uh, Queensbury near Halifax originally, but then resided at Bradford for a long time. Levenstone Seven, trained by the great Eric Taylor, which uh, I'm sure who older grappling fans will remember. A really great wrestler. Oh, really? He's ready to go. He's got three seconds yet. Seconds out. Round three. Round three, and the preliminary contest here at the Recreation Centre Newton Aycliffe, up here in County Durham, Pete Ross, farmer's boy Ross, the blonde boy from Chilton. In, in County Durham, 11 stone 11, a four pound weight advantage over the cyanide Sid Cooper from uh, Bradford, 11 stone 7. No score, with four rounds to go. Follow-up illegal because the man was down by then, reminded by referee Dave Reese for the third occasion in this bout. Posting that didn't come off, Ross, that the headbutt did. Shoulder height. Cooper not too worried about it. Went too low for him. And it's a crutch hold the first one. Cooper, the body slam follower. And again the crutch hold and the slam. On either occasion did uh, Sid Cooper try and follow it down with a reverse double knee hold that he made it the next time if he's going for it opposite arm lever near great final submission hold to Kim Cooper and just one minute 40 seconds into round three first submission to Cooper and the crowd a bit disappointed with that your master of ceremonies Brian Crabtree In one minute, 40 seconds of round three, the first submission of the contest goes to the right corner, Cyanide Sid Cooper. He's happy, he's still from London now where he's residing, but of course a Yorkshire boy born and bred. Sid Cooper now leading by one submission at Fall to Mill, halfway through the contest, and this boy, let's see if we can 
he comes back into the boat. All the crowd here hope he will. Second out, round four. Not only because he's a local boy, but because he's fighting cool. Automatically an unpopular contestant because of his rule back. That point. Five, two, three, four, five, experience showing. Seven, eight. If he'd just keep to legal wrestling holes. Ross a bit quick for him that time, but he still hasn't got the leg grab he was after. Snatch into the full Boston Crab. Cooper could have the second submission here and, and wind the fight up. Full Boston Crab by Cooper. And there is the poor unfortunate Pete Ross. The bell is not going to help him because there's still nearly four minutes to go in this fourth round. So he's got to get out of this or get to the rope somehow. the backbreaker that got the first submission so maybe the Boston crowd won't worry him on this occasion too much well worry him of course it will but you may avoid submitting from it because of that but if Cooper ever gets it again he's in trouble single leg Boston now Cooper has changed it to the counter without leaving go. Now he's trying the leg spread but Cooper goes to the bottom rope to get the break. And Cooper gets called a few names for doing that. Oh well. The camera saw that. We saw the ringside but uh, the referee Still doubtful. Very suspicious though. Although he wasn't sighted, he's still very suspicious. And that he did see. A continuous attack and a public war. Cyanide Sid Cooper receives a first public warning. Will you let the man up before you reattack? Says Sir Dave Reese, the ref. Meantime, Pete Ross not getting the count, of course, getting up at his leisure illegal move put in there and held him there. and Cooper going for single leg Boston again not from that angle he won't get it he's a neat counter mover this Pete Ross really doing well here the counters uh, first one was uh, legal heel of the hand but the second one was Looks very suspicious indeed. And Dave Reese again, a very definite talking to, but only one public warning against Cooper so far. He's trying for the Boston again. He's got it, but very near the ropes. Cooper, who's had his front teeth knocked out on so many occasions now takes them out before he starts about okay. there he is four front teeth missing as we'll see when he looks up single leg Boston Cooper but he's not going to get a submission this time either Ross Quite considerably weakened. That back weakener again on the Boston Crab. First the full one, then the single leg. Twice now has worried him considerably. 25 seconds to go. And the grapevine, the opposite arm leader. This is how he got the first submission in round three. 15 seconds he's got. Yes. 10. 8 seconds. Can Ross hold out? 
five seconds. He's held it. Hey! 